John. I'm an engineer on the Count Takeover team, and today I'm going to show you how to onboard your first site to the system. This is the website we're going to onboard today. So first, let's launch the Account Takeover application. This is the settings view. Let's add a login endpoint. First, we need to input the path. So here we have a dropdown of common templates that we can use. So WordPress is the type of site we are configuring today. And so first thing we need to do is find from your site the where your username and password are being transferred over to the server. So here we're going to have username hi hi and ha 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 for the password so that we can find it in your request. So let's open up the developer tools, network tab. We see that we indeed goes to that WP slash dash login endpoint path. And now let's look at the form data and you see how log and PWD have indeed the username and password. So let's add those parameters here. The first one for username was log and the other for password is PWD. All right, let's apply this configuration. Right now, the ATO system is preparing itself to start validating that indeed the endpoint that you configured has login endpoints, including failed and successful. So first we will need to pass the first initial test which is basically just a detection of one successful and one failed attempt. We had already uh, made those attempts, so the system knows about them. So that's okay. We, val we uh, passed the first validation. Let's go to the second. So this, in this step, we're gonna validate the failed criteria. So basically, we just need to input a username and password that we know will fail and that our system is looking for. So we input the username here and this password that was given as you see, it was a failed attempt. And then now our system is going to be detecting that. Now that you see the check marks, the system indeed detected that it was failed and the username and password were applied in that attempt. Okay, final step. We just need to validate the successful criteria, basically inputting a successful login. So here we need to input a username that we have access to and know the password and we know is going to be successful. So let's apply this in Capsula. Go back to the site. Submit the request and you see as it's successful and now on the dashboard we're successful and we're able to apply the configuration. So the final step now is just to wait and your dashboard will be populated with data. That's it, just under three minutes to full account takeover protection. Thanks for watching.